This tutorial is going to show you how to upload a newsletter and this is probably the most difficult thing to do. So we'll go step by step. And the first thing you need to do of course is to log in in the bottom left hand corner. You'll know that once you've logged in if you're successful if you have the show ribbon up in the top right. So I'm going to hit show ribbon and then I'm going to go over to site actions and with site actions I'm going to go to view all site content. That's going to bring me to the library and the first thing I need to do of course is to upload the newsletter into the document library. So select documents and add document. And choose a file and I just happen to have right here September newsletter and then select OK. All right now here's the little trick. You want to click right on September and notice now that it's a PDF and that's great. You have to copy this address at the top. So I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to go to copy. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go right back to home, right to the beginning. Okay, so you notice that we have nothing right here. So now we want to get that newsletter up on the front page. So there's a few steps to this. We're going to go to view all site content and then scroll down until you get to sites and workspaces and select latest news. So this is a site within the site. All right, so a little bit confusing, but bear with me. So now go to site actions again and then go to view all site content. Scroll down until you find the list called latest news. And this is where we're going to work. Now we're going to keep things really easy today and all we're going to do is we're going to edit this newsletter right here. It says we're posting our newsletters online. So I'm going to go to edit item. All right and I'm going to then go to the body. Okay and I can do some typing if I want but what I really want to do is I want to go to insert because that's where our hyperlink is. So we're going to go to link and a little box comes up so the text to display September news letter. Now if you remember way back when when we copied that address now I'm going to go up to the edit menu and I'm going to get, go to paste. So I've pasted in the address of the newsletter and I hit OK. So it's kind of small. I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to format text. I'm already there. I might want to make it bold. I might want to make it a little bit larger. Oh, maybe that's a bit too big. OK, so September newsletter. Let's not worry about the color right now. Go down to the bottom and hit save. OK, so now notice right here where it says it's pending. And this is the same sort of situation that we have when we're uploading different things. So you have to go to the drop down menu and you want to go to approve, reject, select approve, hit OK. And then check and see, go to your home button and see if it worked. Oh, here it is, September newsletter. I click on it and voila, it's working. So that's perfect.